the idea behind the Zook is basically uh, take on the action that the Zara Spook, uh, which is a, a lure that bass fishermen use, uh, basically it is going to ride in the water like this and it does a little walk the dog back and forth motion. And so in order to do that we need to create this fly with uh, the angle so it sits in the water right as well as some weighting uh, so that it's balanced so that it rides. And so to begin with I'm going to take one of these foam poppers and this is just a Rainey's pre-shaped foam popper but I'm going to use it backwards and I'm going to go ahead and cut it from right down in the uh, at the base here which would be the front of the popper actually and then up to the uh, which will be the front now and we're just going to create a a, uh, a little angled piece so I'm going to go ahead and cut that with my exacto knife so the resulting foam shape will be like this so the the foam will sit on the hook at an angle at about like that and the important part is that I've got this big face here and in order to make that a little bit more poppy when it goes through the water I found that if I dremel out the or cup out the face a little bit it gives it a little bit better action so I am gonna go ahead and grab my dremel tool here and I just have this little bit so I can kinda bore out some of the material and just a very little bit of material we're gonna bore out so the final result is just a little cupped piece like that okay so the other thing I'm going to do here is I want to apply a little color and so I'm going to go ahead and do that with my uh, airbrush and give it a little darker top and we'll leave the bottom mostly white with the the lip the front the face here we're going to do red Okay, then we're going to put some eyes on. Next I'm going to apply a coat of clear cure goo. This is the thin. Then once the epoxy has been applied, the clear cure goo, we're going to go ahead and zap it. So there's the finished head. We're going to set this aside for a bit and work on the body of the fly, then come back and put them both together. So basically there are two parts to this fly that give it the action that it has. The first part's the head, the second part is the design of the body. The way that it's made, it's going to sit at an angle in the water. In order to achieve that consistently, we need to apply some weight at the bend of the hook. And this ensures that with that weight, plus the foam head is going to float it, that it floats like that. That really is the key to the dog walking movement. So we're going to go ahead and add some non-lead weight right here. It's just about one and a half lengths of the shank of the hook. Enough to give us a little bit of imbalance on the back. And I'm going to go ahead and secure that with a few wraps. Make sure it doesn't slide around. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to add some rabbit strip right at the weight. And I'm going to cover that over the weight. Now, this pattern is imitative of a couple of things from what I think. It, it can either be something like a frog or some something that swims on the water. But it's also going to be imitative of uh, a wounded bait fish anything that's going to be stuck on the, the surface. So I'm going to make this a little light dark type combination but again one of the reasons why I'm doing this on the back is I want this stuff to sink so this rabbit when it gets wet is not going to float as well. So that's the point is this end of the of the fly is going to be in the water. So okay the next thing would I want to build up my body this is going to be again the the top half and and it's also meant to weigh down this back end of the fly but we're going to use squirrel and I'm going to use an olive 
kind of a darker olive than the tail to give some contrast and I will build up to cover up the, the lead a little bit more and go to about halfway up the hook shank. Okay, now that the main part of the body is tied in, we will give an underbelly of a, a lighter color. And what we'll use for that is some ice wing, pearl UV. We're going to go in with another little section of that to get a little bit bulkier. Okay, right in front of that we're going to tie in some of this Cascade Hackle Flash. It's a chartreuse color. And it'll give it a little bit more flash and bulk to build up behind the, the head. Now the last piece of the body, I'm just going to tie in some of this Fly Tires Dungeon H2O Bait Fish. It's just a nice flowy material that we'll use for, again, some additional flash and color in this pattern. And that will just lay on the top and kind of work it around the body. We don't want it just on the top, we want it on the sides too. Now we've got to build up a little bit of a base onto which we're going to put the, the head. So we just got to clean up the tie-in and any stragglers here and do a whip finish. And we're ready to apply the foam head. Last piece is we're going to apply the foam head that we created. And in order to do this you may need to ream out a little bit more the hole that your uh, popper is going to go through and I just use a couple of progressively uh, bigger diameter bodkins like so and then we just grab some super glue super glue on the top and bottom of this guy then we take the popper head and just work it on there make sure it's straight there we go and that is the Zook so again the way this will work is it will sit in the water at basically you know some angle like that and as you strip that in it's going to give the walking the dog back and forth motion works great